Hi and welcome back. When I think of the VAC station 3100 or any VAC station I think of VMS because to me that's the, the logical choice to put on it. But there is another operating system that you can install on these machines and that is Ultrix which is Digital's version of Unix and today we're going to install Ultrix on this VAC station and have a bit of a play around. I'm no expert in Unix, so I can't show you too much, but I, we can do an install and see what it looks like. Today for storage I'm going to be using Blue SCSI, which is why you see so many drives showing up on the screen there. Um, I had to modify the Blue SCSI code to support Altrix, because Altrix seems to issue a few different SCSI commands than VMS does, and uh, it was crashing on me. so. If you want to run Altrix from Blue SCSI, then there'll be a link in the description showing you where you can get my updated code. Anyway, today we're going to be taking the Altrix 4.5 ISO on DKB500 and installing it on DKB200. So let's go. We'll boot off the Altrix CD. basic installation you will install on RZ10 or DKB200 So it now initialises the disk and copies a few basic files on there so you can boot off that drive and continue the installation. Okay, so it tells us now to boot off DKB200, you can see the cursor in there. Go for a colour monitor.
So that's the install done. As you can see from the timestamps, it's a very slow process. Anyway, let's boot it up. And we're up. Slightly different screen to the VMS one. So there we have Alteryx running. Uh, not a lot of things are installed. Um, you have to go and install them separately. Even simple things like man aren't installed by default. So what you need to do to install extra stuff is mount the CD. Z13C and then use the setld command You can install all sorts of things here. When you choose the advanced installation option, uh, this is the menu that will come up so you can do that at install time. But when you do the basic, you've got to do this later. So if we want man pages, we need 13 and we need 26.
Okay, so there we have Ultrix or Digital's Unix running on a back station. Now, some of you will be saying, what about NetBSD? And yes, it will run on this machine, but it is extremely slow. It takes several hours to install and it takes a long time to boot. So that's about it for today. I hope you found that interesting and we will catch up with you next time.